Hey guys, welcome to the second video of under 5 minute series. Here we try to learn a concept in less than 5 minutes. So our concept of the day is Alloy steel versus carbon steel, what's the difference? And I'll try to demystify it for you. So starting with Carbon steel is nothing but iron with carbon added to it. Now I don't mean that it is only carbon and iron. Obviously, as everything in nature has, even carbon steel will also have impurities. But then, these extra elements present don't make up a major part of the ingredient list. So, it's in simpler terms, iron plus carbon. Whereas, when we talk about alloy steel, Apart from iron and carbon being present, we also have different alloying elements. These alloying elements are added to modify the properties of the metal. Now let's have a brief look at some of the properties of carbon steel and alloy steels. Let's know them a bit in a better way. So moving on to carbon steel. In carbon steel, the main element of this kind of steel is carbon. Now we all know that if lower carbon percentage is there, then the material will be more ductile. As we increase the carbon percentage or say we add up carbon in order to make it a higher carbon content present in the steel, more the steel becomes heat treatable and more it can be hardened but then there is a demerit with adding carbon higher carbon content makes the steel difficult to weld so that is a demerit once we add more carbon to it now carbon steels are generally divided into three categories low carbon steel medium carbon steel and high carbon steel We'll be discussing about the properties, the percentage of carbon and the applications of low carbon, medium carbon and high carbon steel in another video. So let's move to alloy steels. Now, alloy steel in one line is nothing but iron plus carbon plus alloying elements. Now, why do we add alloying elements? If you see, the only difference between carbon steel and alloy steel is the presence of alloying elements because iron and carbon are present in both. Now we add these alloying elements because these alloying elements are used to further enhance and customize the properties or say tailor the properties as per our needs. Now there are two general types or two categories of alloy steels, low alloy steels and high alloy steels. Now, how do we differentiate between low alloy and high alloy steels? Well, anything which has less than 8% alloying elements, we call it low alloy steel. And if you see, if the percentage of alloying elements present is more than 8% or over 8%, we call it high alloy steels. Generally, low alloy steels are very common. So that's a brief intro or difference to alloy steels and carbon steels. Stay tuned for more videos related to material science. Happy learning guys.